Hey. Happy whatever day it is. I don't know anymore. Um, other than when the next update's going to be. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Everybody good? I'm just going to move some things around here. It is Thursday. <laughs> that is hard to hard to uh, fathom that I'm struggling with that so much. Um, I figured I'd do a little. There's not a lot of updates for the uh, what's up the local music scene. So <clears throat> we tried last week to do. Um, you guys hear me okay? You guys hear me okay out there? Anyone? Anyone? Um, we tried to do a um, little bit of a feature last week, or I did, and um, uh, it was awesome. It was kind of neat to be able to, you know, support the Carbons' uh, new release, new album release. And uh, so that's what we got going on. Hey, Heather, how are you? <laughs> so that's kind of what we got going on now is uh, there's, uh, there's a few events out there, and uh, but there's not a ton, and I think we're all just sitting around kind of waiting for something to happen. Fingers crossed for the for, for the um, be able to get back into the gym, get some extras, get release some stress, and uh, play a guitar and uh, sing. So I'm hoping that uh, even though we're not able to get out there, a lot of us um, and do some live stuff, I hope that you're picking up your guitar at home, singing around the house. We did uh, King and I did uh, the other night. We were working on a bunch of stuff. Hey, Danny, how are ya? <laughs> And uh, so we're, uh, that's Danny from Danny's Auto Logic. <laughs> that's right, I'm gonna, Heather, I'm going to be playing on February 12th. You know, that's our next, we had some shows canceled this month, so we got our fin fingers crossed, and uh, we're going to announce that a lot more to um, Heather uh, coming up out at O'Keefe Ranch, and uh, so we're going to come out, and I'm going to do some playing out there on February 12th. So um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Heather. Heather. Uh, we'll post a link in there if you want. Actually, why don't you post a link in there now? You can post that uh, and so that everybody knows what we're talking about. Yeah, and I was saying that that's my good buddy, Danny Blanchard, there. he's. Uh, I just finished doing his uh, his website, Danny Danny's Autologics.com. So <laughs> good friend. Anybody needs a car? <laughs> There's a plug. Anyway, uh, it's really cool, actually, uh, without just saying it's, it's whoever needs a car, but uh, go check it out. Uh, Danny, you can post your link in there as well. We want to support as many of our locals as we can, and uh, and uh, us musicians have to get around too, you know, so. Oh, thanks, Heather. Excellent. So some of the events I want to talk about um, <clears throat> this uh, week, this weekend, um, there's a few shows going on, and I believe... Uh, um, Jeff Piatelli is going to be at O'Flanagan's Friday and Saturday, um, which is cool. That's one of the busiest guys I've seen out there um, as far as doing a single act duo. And I think he's, he's had a drummer out to 97th Street one time. And uh, so uh, so it's kind of cool. Good on you. Oh, there you go, Danny. Thanks. Um, yeah, by the way, that's a site that we created. Anybody needs a website uh, and a car. Uh, anyway, stay focused. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, um, anyway, so uh, so Jeff Biotelli has been doing a lot of work. So I, I know he's super, super busy or super, super uh, excited for him that he's doing so well. And uh, um, and then there is also, uh, of course, John Boss is playing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every week up at Big White at uh, the Globe and uh, super happy for him as well. And all the people that get to catch him up there. So uh, and uh, and this is new. Uh, Kathy Ann Wells. Um, this is uh, pretty cool because it's uh, she's uh, she's taking a chance. She's getting out to this venue. Um, oh, that's right, Heather. <laughs> I'm doing your website too. <laughs> that's right. Thanks for that too. By the way, supporting local local designers as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Kathy Ann Wells is a longtime uh, friend of mine uh, since I've been here. I got here in 1989. And uh, I, you know, when I first got, I didn't even really know that she sang. And then all of a sudden one day um, she gets up and, and this, and I, I didn't even, I, I didn't know her that well, but uh, I knew her. And all of a sudden she gets up and she sings. And I was like, what the hell? 
Where did that come from? So, uh, and I don't get to see her very, very often because she's done a lot of cruise ship stuff and a uh, very talented uh, lady from uh, North Okanagan here. But she's going to be playing across from the airport in Kelowna Airport at a new place. And I put it in the links. I put it in the uh, the description above. Uh, and it's called Grizzly Bear, Grizzly Bear Bistro and Bar. Um, and it's in the Four Points a hotel so there's a small capacity there of 45 people hey carrie how are you man <laughs> focus <laughs> uh, uh anyway so she is uh, going to be performing there on friday and uh and it's a and it's uh, i think it's as new for for them trying to get out get some live music and get something happen it's a small little 45 capacity i believe uh venue and so that's the first time that somebody's going to kind of be in there as a single act. So that starts at 6.30 on Friday. So we hope that uh, you can make it out to that and make that a success. Because there's not very often that, uh, you know, while in that area, that um, you get to hear live music. Never mind hearing uh, such a talented uh, uh, lady who uh, doesn't come around this very, very area very often anymore. So uh, never mind through COVID crap. So go check out Kathy if you get a chance. Um, the link is on there to the venue as well as um, um, to her. So you can ask her any questions there. Um, so there's a few of the live uh, things going on. I know that I talked to Rachel Matkin. Uh, last week I was up at uh, Whiskey Jack's and uh, said hello, and it was so nice to see her. And uh, the cool thing with uh, Dirt Roar Opera, who is uh, her band, and Jim Ryan and uh, Barry Mathers, very very talented uh crew there but she was telling me um that she is uh going into rehearsal that night so uh really excited they're prepping everybody's prepping for when they're when they get, they get a chance to uh perform live it was a good eye opener for me last year after playing for 35 years and you know tim and i gigging you know 50 weeks a year for just decades to all of a sudden not singing at all and uh and then not keeping up with the with the you know the chops um king and i when we started doing this jamming i would make my, maybe five or six songs and my voice was gone so it's good that uh rachel and uh the gang from dirt road dirt road opera are are uh, rehearsing and uh recording they got a, such a great album that they released last year and so they're in preparation for hopefully performing this spring and this summer. So uh, if you're not if you're not gigging at all, I mean, I picked up my acoustic and I started playing because I was freaking out that I was losing my voice, and uh, it was it took a long time to get that back. So hopefully, you know, you musicians that aren't gigging it uh, very often, at least you're rehearsing like, you know, one of our featured uh, guys today. Um, um, uh, Jeff Elwood, he was uh, just featured with an, an article on Gonzo, and you got to check it out because um, there's a guy that, uh, and, a, and a huge thank you to, um, thanks, Gary, a huge thank you to uh, my new, uh, fairly new photographer um, and writer, Shane Collins, who is a talented uh, photographer himself. If you could check out Shane Collins' photo on Facebook, um, his page, you'll see uh, some photos on there. But he he's writing for for us now, and uh, he's doing such an amazing job. And uh, his the passion uh, for music for him. Um, we ju I just want to say thank you very much to Shane for for your talents and your passion for doing what you do and allowing uh, us to be able to you know use your material and put it in support you and the people that you're writing about on uh, on Gonzo. So check it out on gonzookanagan.com because it's a really great article on uh, Jeff Elwood. And uh, I've known Jeff for years. And I think the first time I'd met him was at Rose's um, years ago and uh, when Tim and I were doing the jam session there and they wanted to come out and play. And I, I believe it was at the at Rose's. And, and I remember they he's in a wheelchair, right? He was paralyzed. Uh, I think he was uh, 21. Um, and a motor, a dirt bike accident and horrific dirt, like lucky to be alive. And, um, and so you can read the story on gonzookanagan.com on Jeff and the, uh, unstoppable, uh, Jeff Elwood drummer. And, uh, and the, the first time I'd heard Jeff was at the jam with, uh, his buddy, John Buck and the band life. And they came up to the stage and they, they, you know, they had to bring in all his own drum gear because uh, he's paralyzed from the, basically from the waist or chest down. 
So they had to bring his own drum kit in. So he set all the stuff up. And what are they playing? What is he playing? He's paralyzed from the from the, the chest down. He's playing Rush. And we all sat back and went, what is going on? Like, not only, um, you know, he's 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 got some perseverance that he's actually pulling this stuff off. He's customized his drum kit. Um, but he's playing stuff that, you know, a lot of drummers I know out there can't play with all their limbs fully functioning and this guy's doing it uh with his setup so uh you got to go check it out because we put on gonzolkanagan.com we put on some um some youtube uh videos of jeff playing with uh life uh they're there they had a new album out this past year as well we did a feature on but go check it out you got to check it out go to gonzolkanagan.com and um and check out jeff uh, playing on his kit and you can read about his story on there. So I just wanted to give a big shout out to Jeff, um, and the, and the boys from life, uh, incredible people, uh, talented musicians and uh, a real inspiration to, to me. And I know to many others, because you can tell by how many people have shared that article and how many people have liked and, and the kind words. So check it out. If you haven't checked it out yet, it's a, it's a, just a, just a great article, on uh you know keep on trucking right no matter what you're throwing at you know we complain about um there's a a good um, reminder to keep on going and uh persevere and so congrats shane collins go check his stuff out and great job on the article and we're so happy to be featuring uh jeff on there as well so that's what i i'm, I'm doing right now is i'm just trying to keep keep busy and it's a great uh, honor for me to be able to do uh, showcasing and looking at some of the stuff that's going on with our local musicians and uh, I appreciate everybody that's uh, that's watching and uh, commenting and sharing this because I don't know I don't know is it going to work I don't know so pick up your guitar grab your microphone if not sing in the shower do whatever you got to do uh, bring some light into your day and uh, thanks so much for listening to this and encouraging me to keep doing it and I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Peace, everybody. Ciao.